on game salad logic and it's going to take um i don't know how long how many videos this will go we'll see how it progresses but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um uh, just some of the basics um, in regards to attributes and logic in game salad i want to kind of get you to start thinking uh, a little bit behind uh, past the GUI and really understand kind of what's happening um, code wise and logic wise uh, in game salad so let's let's just start by we'll start right here by just opening up a blank project and um, we'll get some real estate so let's go ahead and uh, let's just make it an iPad project and uh, I'm just gonna call it uh, logic for now and expand it out and we're just going to save it we'll save it as logic I'm just going to save it to the desktop alright so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead into our scene and we're just going to work on work on a basic scene with some basic uh, I'm actors so let's talk a little bit about what attributes are because um, this seems to be one of the things that people are having trouble getting their head around and it's really actually pretty easy um, to understand once you um, once we explain it an attribute by definition is um, something that describes or is um, the best way to describe it I guess is take yourself a person um, your attributes if somebody would to describe you would be you have you know brown hair green eyes you're six feet tall um, you have ten fingers and toes you wear a size 10 shoe um, even down to oh when you know he's got jeans on and a t-shirt that said this and and so these are attributes of uh, who you are um, tall, thin, fat, skinny, um, these are all attributes. Now, it's the same thing in game salad. Um, attributes are descriptions or parts of um, different things. So let's say like uh, the scene. Let's go to the scene, which is our scene here. And this scene has, has attributes. One of those attributes, and this is the list, as you see, we're clicked on the on the attributes function is it has a name that's it just like you um, you have a name and this name is called initial scene and the type of attribute that it is it's a text attribute and that means that when the computer is stupid see so we've got to tell the computer um, you know what it's looking at the computer just doesn't know um, and this is the thing about logic in uh, game salad we've got to tell the computer everything a computer is stupid it just calculates numbers it it looks at all kinds of things and it can it, and it knows how to distinguish between stuff but we've got to tell it what it's distinguishing it's like a robot you've got to program it to lift its arm and to do all these kinds of things it just doesn't do things we have to tell it so what we're telling the computer is that um, that this attribute that this particular description is text that's how you treat it that's how you look at it and there are certain things you can do with text uh, and there are things that you can't this is a time attribute which relates to the game clock and then we have an attribute that is the size of the scene and these are real attributes and we'll kind of get into describing uh, later on you know what all the different attributes mean and and why we use those types of attributes and then we have a very common and one of the first really original um, in the early computing days is, is what's called a boolean which is a basically a true false statement you're either on or you're off it's like a switch and that's how all computers work they're basically switches you turn circuits on you turn them off um, there's only two conditions in a computer on or off that's it just like a light it's either on or it's either off and this is what a boolean tells us and we have gravity another real attribute we have the color okay these are the the RBG okay and that's a whole nother thing you can look into in the alpha which is 
its opacity, whether you can see it or you can't see it and how much you can see through it. And now um, some things, some attributes in Game Salad are modifiable. Some are fixed. Some you can't modify, just like a person. You're, you know, five foot five. You can't change that. You're five foot five. It's, but your hair color might be brown, but you can dye it blonde. It's, it's an attribute that can be modified. And those types of attributes are called variables. And that's why you hear that term kind of thrown around on the forums. It's, it's, it's called a variable um, because it can be varied. Things can be varied, just like this, the color. We can take it and we can change this attribute because it is variable. It's a variable attribute and we can change it to blue. We can change it pink, whatever, whatever color we can, we can put in the numbers that there are charts to mix and make even certain colors that you can't just quickly aren't presets that you can, uh, that you can select. And so basically that's what attributes are. And there's attributes and if you make an actor and we open the actor up, we can see we have attributes that relate to the actor themselves it's width and height which can be modified or is a variable its position which can be varied its name which can be varied its color the image it contains which can be varied the tag that it is which can be varied these graphic attributes which that can be varied they can be changed okay these are all attributes and so essentially all we're doing when we're programming in Game Salad is we're using these things which are called behaviors down here. And what these things do is give us windows to put in ver to put in information that accesses and changes a variable. That's all you're doing. That's really all you're doing in Game Salad. You're you're working with variables and you're telling things to happen when this variable or attribute is this do this or change that or move or tell tell this actor to change its variable position to this one all you're doing is 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 looking at variables numbers text color condition placement you're looking at those numbers and and things and you're saying when that nut when that number is this when that variable is that then you can say all right now do this now change the variable and essentially in game salad that's really the the heart of what we do is is we change variables whether an actor's variable the scene's variable um, we watch variables or attributes between actors and we make conditions based on what those are all right, if a red actor meets a blue actor, we can tell the computer that when those two actors are together and this one's red and this one's blue, then do this, which we're just changing a condition in the programming. That, that's basically all um, Game Salad is. It's manipulation of all these variables that you have access to through these behaviors that give you the ability to modify um, the variables and behaviors in the scene, in the actor. And then we have attributes or variables that we create on our own that we can modify and use as references. Um, that's basically, you know, what variables are. So anyways, this, that's, this is the first uh, video I'm going to start doing in a series of, of Game Salad Logic. And this was the first one is just kind of explaining variables and what they are and what they do. And so in the next video, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to just start showing you um, a variable and how we change variables and how that kind of affects things. So let's uh, move on to part two.